Hello, I'm Alex, this is Libre Graphics Note, and today I want to show you a new feature in GIMP that you are going to love with a capital L. Now, as you know, non destructive editing is one of the most requested features in GIMP. This is currently scheduled for version 3.2, however, the next version of GIMP, which is going to be 2.10.20, is going to feature very basic non destructive cropping. Here is how it works. The crop tool now has a new option called Delete Crop Pixels, which is disabled by default. So when you open the photo and crop it, instead of cropping a layer, it crops the canvas. You can see that by going to the View menu and enabling the Show All option. Here is our yellow boundary line and here is our red canvas boundary line. So basically, the canvas boundary works as a viewport. Now let's try this. We open a photo, we crop it, duplicate the original layer, add the layer mask, fill it with a linear black to white gradient for a very simple transition, then click on the layer preview to switch to working on actual pixels, apply curves, now save as XCF, close the file. In fact, quit GIMP entirely, reopen GIMP, reopen the project file, go to image, fit canvas to layers. Alright, you can crop your project again like nothing happened. Now, like I said, this is very basic, very primitive non-destructive cropping. The team is planning to make all transformations truly non-destructive. There are various options how to do that. All this will be evaluated and decided upon when it's time to start developing version 3.2. For now, you will be able to make use of this new feature when version 2.10.20 will be out, which is hopefully no longer than a couple of months away. Thank you for watching and see you soon.